In this video, it's going to be about SAS and Bootstrap Studio. So when we go in here, um, if this is like the, the, the very up to date version of Bootstrap Studio. So if you haven't got this, then this is going to be of no use. But anyway, for the people that have, this is version 5.1.0 and just in the tutorials here. We have the basics of Bootstrap Studio, and that's all very good. CSS, JavaScript, HTML, Sites, Advanced, and Examples. I haven't gone through all of these. I've done, I've seen a few of them. The things that, in, I've done quite a lot of JavaScript with Bootstrap Studio over the years. Um, the CSS, writing CSS, and I've done a lot of that as well. Um, write media queries, changing the CSS, include order. The thing that really grabbed my attention here was writing SAS. So this is, I think it's called uh, Syntaxically Awesome Style Sheets. That's what it's called. And if we just go into this, um, well, create a new design really, because that's, that's just going to show you that it's already got here um, and that just gives you what something's called import and that's part of this uh, syntax of SAS. So we'll just go into a new design like normally and just click on this one, the one that I normally do and go in here. So in SAS the things that is impressive about it is that it's a bit like you can call it a little bit like a programming language for cascading style sheets um, it's it's a sort of uh, programming language in, in the fact that it uses four while loops it uses if statements it uses functions and variables and a few other things um, so it's like a it's between a half programming language part not but it's coding, whatever you call it. So there's there's two ways to write it. There's something called dot sass. So I have many examples on uh, Dropbox. In these ones here, it's uh, I'm not sure what the zoom is on here because this is a, a new screenshot program I'm using. Um, it's got if dot s c s s, and this is what Bootstrap Studio uses by defa default. And there's also you could have if dot sass. Um, the difference is the dot sass s a s s a s s is that it's a bit more loose. When you're writing dot s c s s, it it's what what's actually default on Bootstrap Studio is that it's more the syntax has to be right. If I don't know if anybody's going to be interested in this, but if you are, just get back to us. I know the comment section's uh, not working as it should, but just drop us a line and see what you think. So anyway, the here is style. So we just go into the styles, create S C S S the right mouthful, and just pop that. There. So what I'm going to go do is go back to Dropbox and see these loops here. So this, for example, is a for loop in uh, SAS. So we just do that and we just copy it and paste it in here, Control V, and apply it. So it says there, there's a SAS error. Usually in, in SAS, when you're doing it, when you you usually have to have a compiler. In Bootstrap Studio, the beauty of that is, is that the, there's already a compiler built in. So what here it's not liking is because it's got numbered at the top. So it's one, two, three, four. This is the way I wrote it when I, when I actually wrote it out. So just, and I think that might actually work in a compiler, but obviously Bootstrap Studio there has its own, so that won't. There's something called, there's a few compilers I've tried where they don't actually work very well. Um, 
if you want to do this type of thing externally from Bootstrap Studio or Good Ones Koala, apply and there you go. There's no there's no issues now. So <laughs> although this might not seem very much, this is a for low from four, like one to ten. Um, and it's it's quite difficult to to do it because I'm not actually building a, a website here, you know, as as normal. But these things do work. And I'm just wondering if anybody's really interested in this SAS and it, it actually it it what it what it's to do really is if you're using a lot of pages and you um you know you, you can actually have things where it's very slick and it's not untidy and things like that. Um I don't for myself I don't really think it's as good for me is because it's supposed to be very quick coding and, and and it does have that for me um the zen coding oh i can't remember the name <laughs> i use it all the time i can't remember the name um where you ju you just put in like uh, you know a, a div for example and times it by seven and the whole page is coming up so it's uh you know, so the the thing is, is that it does have uses. If anybody's interested in learning this, I'm quite happy to um, you know put it out there and and say what you think about and how this w could be incorporated in your own work. As I say, it's a sort of programming language in in a way. It does have uh, things, and if you're finding programming hard, this could be a step up to you know you you get between things like CSS, which is quite easy to code once you once you learn and between something like JavaScript which is a pro, obviously a programming language purely a programming language and uh, once you learn these things like if statements and uh, for loops variables and things like that these syntaxes are changed through all throughout all programming languages but they do the, if you understand the concept then yeah, it's clear for you to do where you can actually program in probably most languages. Some are harder, some are not. But anyway, I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. And uh, thank you for watching.